What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today, still got the cold going on, so again, I apologize for my voice, but I'm bringing you guys another video for the Galaxy S22, S22 Plus, and S22 Ultra customization series, rocking the Kevlar case again, UAG, the link is below if anyone's interested. Uh, I haven't really been switching too much because uh, I've been sick, but you know, I got all the other cases in here in the rotation. I got some new ones to take a look at soon too, so those will be coming up on the channel. Also, remind you guys, if you want to enter our giveaway, I'll drop the link below in the description, giving away a flagship device, $500 cash, and some other cool phones. You can enter daily, so bookmark the link and come back and get those daily entries. I post about those on Twitter every day. So today we're going to be talking productivity. This video actually came about because people always ask me what app I use to make the lists that I use when I actually make the video. So I go through and check off the things I want to talk about. So I figured, why not talk about all the apps I use for productivity on a daily basis? So let's get right into it. I made a folder with all these just so I have them all in one place. We'll go through them. A couple of them I taught about before, some of them I have not. I tried to include some new ones and also some that I've used a lot. That way people get a little variety because some of these productivity type videos, they all have the same apps and I want to give you something new. So the first one is one that I have talked about before and you've probably seen before. Uh, and that would be the Adobe Fill and Sign app. Now, of course, this is an absolute must-have app if you have a Galaxy S22 Ultra because, of course, you've got your S Pen and you can use this to sign things, right? So here's my signature. You know, you can move it around, put it on the signature thing. You can make it larger, right? You can increase the size of it like that. Put it on the line. You can sign the date. You can put text, all that kind of stuff. Then you can share it. You can go in here, export it to your email. Do whatever you want to do um, and then send it off to whoever needs to get the signed document. And of course, like I said, you can type in text fields as well. You can make the text bigger or smaller, you know, change all those sort of things right there. This is a very simple app, but considering that it's one that you really are going to use a lot, especially if you're a business person like me, you need to sign a lot of contracts. The S Pen comes in handy with the Adobe Fill and Sign app. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the next one is AfterShip. Now, of course, we all get a lot of shipments. Uh, I probably get more than some people because doing YouTube, I just get a ton of packages, review units, you know, people sending me press kits, uh, whenever a new device comes out, all that stuff. And for that, I use AfterShip. Now, I'm going to show you guys what, you know, this can do, but uh, I'll just show this one tab, which is my To Be Shipped tab because it doesn't have my tracking numbers. You guys can see some of the stuff I bought from eBay, some sports cards. I collect Calvin Ridley. Someone asked about this in the last video. Very unfortunate because he got suspended by the NFL. Some wallpapers I bought online from Canoopsy. Some more sports cards. Um, a case that I ordered from Urban Armor Gear. Uh, I still order stuff from Urban Armor Gear even though they send me review and it's I love their stuff so much. Anyway, you can import your tracking uh, information from Gmail. Um, that way, whenever you have a tracking number come in Gmail, it automatically imports it into AfterShip. Now you do have to give it some permissions to your Google account, your Gmail, of course. So whether you want to do that is up to you. You can also add tracking manually down here. It's very simple, but like you, you, know, you can see there, I'm copying them directly from my email. It's very convenient, helps me keep track of all the things I have incoming, whether they've been you know, shipped yet, they're going to be shipped, or if they've been delivered over here, I can manage all my tracking information. And this really does help me with my YouTube channel. It can certainly help you keep track as well of packages that you have coming in. The next thing is the app that everyone's been asking about, and that is Google Keep Notes. Google Keep Notes is what I use to make all the lists for the top fives, for the customization videos. I was gonna make one for this, but since the app itself is in here, I thought it would be a little weird. Anyway, you can make lists, you can add you know, colors to them, you can add custom backgrounds now. Google allows you to do that as well. Uh, some things that are really nice is you can add these check boxes, which a lot of people have asked about the check boxes down here. You can also add drawings, which is great because, of course, you know, if you've got your S Pen, this is great. You can add in handwritten text into your Keep Note, go back, and then it creates a new note for you. Um, you can create a whole note from handwriting. You don't have to have a text note to start with. Uh, over here, you can make a copy. You can send it to, uh, you can add collaborators so they can actually add things. And you can file these into labels. Uh, I keep mine somewhat organized, although I could probably do a much better job. You can pen things, lots of really cool stuff you can do. Uh, and then the really, really cool feature that I know a lot of people are going to like, that's over here. You can actually just start talking and then this will make a note for you. 
and Google's recognition is the best, so it's going to be very good at recognizing what you're saying. And there you go. You also not only have the text, which was very good, but you've also got the voice itself. So then you actually have what you said as a voice clip added to your notes. That's great for when I need to get a quick idea down, but I don't have enough time to write it down, either using the S Pen or text. Then I can save this later and I can say idea for a video. And then that's a new note and it's, uh, it's saved right there. So Google Keep Notes, an amazing app. I know a lot of people are gonna ask, why do you use Keep Notes uh, as opposed to Samsung Notes, which of course is built into your Galaxy device by default and it's in the S Pen menu and all that. Well, I have a lot of devices. I have a MacBook Pro as my main computer. Uh, I've got iPads, I've got you know, Samsung tablets, the Tab S8 Ultra, and a bunch of other phones. Keep Notes syncs with all that in a much nicer way. So that way I don't have to be you know, locked into the Samsung ecosystem. You can use Keep Notes on your iPhone, your iPad, whatever. The next app is Readwise. And uh, sometimes I don't include stuff that I just started testing, but this is an app that someone suggested to me and I've been using it now for a day or so uh, on some other devices, a couple days. And uh, this is an app where you can actually import a whole bunch of different connections. And the ones that I find useful personally uh, are the Pocket connection, which is where I save a lot of articles for reading. You guys can see I've got Pocket imported here. And then Twitter, which I think is great because you can actually um, send a DM to them. You know, I can just show you here. If you go in here, you can actually reply to a tweet at Readwise IO Save and it'll save it. You can mark up and add notes to these things, which is great for me when I'm doing research for articles, uh, for videos, things like that. It's really easy to get information and save it. Not only from Pocket, which I can get articles on the internet, but also from Twitter if I see tweets. You can also add manual books and they'll surface excerpts from those books, like I added The Catcher in the Rye, Brave New World, just some of my favorite classic books to show you guys kind of what they look like. Now I am doing the 30 day free trial. There is a subscription fee for this and uh, I'll tell you guys in the end if it's worth it. I think it's $4.99 or $7.99 a month for some of the features uh, and you can actually kind of see over here, it shows you your statistics of what you've done. So far, This is, I just put it on the S22 Ultra, but I really like this and if you're someone who needs to read a lot of articles and mark them up, uh, be able to search them very easily and also aggregate information from Twitter, which is an important source of info for me for phone releases, you know, developer previews, all that kind of stuff. It's a great app. Last one is also a beta app. If you like Google Inbox, which was Google's smart email client that was kind of a replacement for Gmail, the folks over at Shortwave are doing something to kind of replace it um, or improve it. And Shortwave is an app that's kind of built on the idea of Google Inbox, where it surfaces all of your conversations into threads. And so you're looking at a thread view, which I find much more easy to deal with for productivity. Like you can see, I've got all my orders from Samsung in a thread, my Google authentication codes in a thread, um, my USPS informed delivery digest, which shows me what's in my, um, what's in my mail every day. I can see pictures of my mail eBay, I do a lot of eBay shopping, 62 threads. Um, this is an app that's in beta. I found the notifications to be very unreliable so far, but you can add teammates channels. It's mainly focused at business right now because the plans are a little expensive and I, I've really not you know, done the upgrade yet because it is $9 per, per person per month and you only get one account. Um, so that's tough because you can't add all your different Google accounts for different you know things but you do then get unlimited search and email history. If you don't upgrade, you only get 90 days of history. So since this is in beta, I'm not gonna say that it's, I'm not gonna pass judgment on it, but if you wanna experiment with a Google Inbox type client, which hasn't really been available since Google killed off Inbox, I find it a more productive way to triage my emails. And that's just me. So these are my favorite five productivity apps for the S22 Ultra. Like I said, try to give you a mix of stuff that I've been using for years, like the top three, along with a couple that I've been trying out over the last few weeks or days. Readwise and Shortwave both seem very promising, particularly if Shortwave can lower the price uh, and increase some of the features, I'd be very interested. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Join the giveaway below, the link in the pinned comment. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.